Now, he hasn't even started high school, but this 13-year-old has already set the bar high, following in the footsteps of his idol, Sir David Attenborough. He wants to save the world one plastic bag at a time. There's a lot of plastic in our ocean. So when I'm 42 years old, in 2050, there will be more plastics in the ocean than fish. That's why we need to make a plastic alarm. Do you think of yourself as a bit of an eco-warrior, if you like? Yeah, you could say so, yeah, with my, uh, my logo. He's just 13, but Arlian Ecker has been campaigning since he was 11. He's made a documentary and taken the issue to adults. Do you really need that plastic bag? Well, it's holding my shopping. It's not good for the future of the kids. I never really thought about that. It was the sight of sea turtles suffering that prompted Arlian's campaign. I'm with these turtles right here, three turtles, and they ate plastic. I saw for the first time in my life a uh, a turtle or a, um, a sea creature getting hurt by plastics and thought, what's my future going to look like? What is millions of children's future going to look like in the future if this keeps on going the way it is? This turtle is um, floating is because it ate plastic. I believe he can be a young David Attenborough. About 30 to 40 percent of all oceanic fish, fish throughout the seas, depend upon the coral reefs. A young voice that empowers the young people. Alien's mum, Corinne, is a filmmaker and she suggested Alien make the documentary to show other children how bad the problem is. He wants to do this, he loves that kind of work, so together we just combine our forces and create resources that we can send out to schools globally and hopefully we create a movement. And it has taken off. Now Arlian is invited to schools across Australia to show his film and talk to kids about the issue. Kids like eight-year-old Lockie Davis from Victoria. We watched your trailer for the Plastic Alarm film and it inspired me to sort of not use plastic. Inspired him to sort of drive the message home. Rebecca is Lockie's mum. And he's remembered that campaign for a year now. Um, and since our trip to Byron Bay, he got inspired again and said, let's go meet him. I contacted Alien because I wanted to speak to him and do a little interview that can go into our school newspaper. So, Matilda, you saw my film Plastic Alarm, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you think about it? Did you like it? Yeah. What was your favourite bit? Um, I, I liked when you were saving the turtle. At this Sydney preschool, Arlian met Matilda. We could um, get people not to put plastic bottles and everything that is plastic not in the ocean. 80% of all consumer choices are made by women and I'm sure most of those women are mothers. So the way to change is, is through the kids, you think? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Hey guys, this is Plastic Free Boy, and for the next two weeks we're going to be talking rubbish. In the beginning, Arlian admits not everyone was happy to see him. Even when I was younger, they, they bullied me, and now as I grow bigger, or I create more films, or I get invited to more um, screenings or more interviews, kids started to respect me, I think. He's been an ambassador for Clean Up Australia and been nominated for a Green Globe Award, which attracted the attention of someone else who calls Byron Bay home. Uh, Chris Hemsworth has gotten involved as well and I'm hoping to do more future activities with him as well. More than 120,000 school children have now watched Arlian's documentary and that doesn't take into account the number of kids who've watched his message about plastic pollution and the ocean on YouTube. What's even more remarkable is that this 13-year-old schoolboy has now been invited to address international conferences here and overseas. To do nothing will cost my future. It will cost your children and grandchildren's future. This is Alien speaking at a recent Asia-Pacific Cities Summit with a room full of adults. Please be courageous. Please be 
leaders. Let's work together. So Arlene, you've become your own superhero. Yeah, I've become my own superheroes. Back home, Arlene now sells t-shirts with his plastic free boy logo and other items to raise money to fund his campaign. T-shirts, uh, keep cups, or everything with the logo. We want to keep the whales totally alive from this plastic pollution. Do you feel like you're making a difference? I hope so. I hope I, I, hope I am, but I think I am, yeah. I think you are too. Not using single-use plastic is totally cool. It's good to see that passion and Alien is now looking to make a second documentary. If you'd like to support him, just head to our homepage.